Okay, so that's a little bit difficult to understand, but you need that concept in order to get the next concept, which is that the first thing we did in information modeling is we created our types. Types have attributes, attributes have value patterns, and now we have to relate to different items. We have to relate, for example, one person to another, Cody versus Mark. Cody and Mark are friends. They're related to each other. The type person is not related to the type person. A particular person, Cody and Mark, are related to each other. Similarly, a person could be related to an event because the person likes the event. So can you see that in addition to modeling the way each person is represented, we also have to model how do we associate one item with another, one, one person with another. How are those person, people put together? Maybe I'm going to organize the people by um, their sex, and I'm going to have all the males over here and all the females over here. That's another way of organizing them. So when I model my information, not only do I model the people, but I model how the people relate to other people and how the people relate to other kinds of items that I have in my system.